Hey Rosebank, well it's Wednesday and so this is your midweek check-in, see how you are doing in lockdown. Well I guess we had all hoped that come Friday the 1st of May that our lives would look very different and uh, I think as we're all starting to realize uh, that in many ways uh, it's going to stay much the same. I realize a lot of people will uh, be going back to work and schools will be going back as we just heard earlier this morning in some ways. But largely, uh, life is still going to be very much like we've got used to over the last couple of weeks. And certainly for us as a church, as far as we know right now, that that is the case, that we're not going to be able to gather together physically for, well, what seems to be a very long time. I came across this quote by Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the German pastor. He said, uh, he said the physical presence of other Christians is a source of incomparable joy and strength to the believer. The physical presence of other Christians is a source of incomparable joy and strength to the believer, uh, which I think we're starting to realize more and more, aren't we? In fact, uh, in the Bible, there is this sense in, in which, although we are, we are saved individually, we are saved into community. There's a what I call a one anotherness to the Bible, over a hundred different passages of Scripture, over 100, they use the phrase one another, just how connected we are to each other. It says, for example, serve one another, love one another, carry one another's burdens. And so there's a one anotherness to the Bible. And I suppose for us, the challenge in this season is to retain this one anotherness, despite not being physically present and we've just been so encouraged at the way that we've been able to do that over the last few weeks and we're just going to keep increasing that so over the next few weeks just rolling out even more ways for us to uh, keep the sense of one anotherness together so as of last friday some of our kids ministries came online so we've got kids at home happening on a friday night we've got youth at home starting next week friday as well uh, we are hoping uh, that with some of the restrictions um, under the government guidelines that we'll be able to do some recording at church, but we'll, we'll see what comes from the government during the course of the week. For the most part, it seems like we're just going to have to really continue being intentional in retaining a sense of community. But I'm encouraged by this. If I look through this list of one another's that, I, that I've got printed here, um, not a lot of them require this physical presence, as true as that is. For example... We don't need to be together to love one another, to edify one another, to accept one another, to instruct, to greet, to care for, to serve, to carry each other's burdens, to be kind, to encourage, to confess sins to one another, to pray for one another. And even to have some kind of fellowship with one another. So even though there's over a hundred one another's in the Bible, we are not really restricted in carrying out those one another's, even at this time. And so we're going to be doing exactly that and just trusting that God is doing something special and unique. We've got a couple of really exciting projects coming up. You're going to hear about them in the next couple of weeks, just ways in which we continue and to believe that God is filling our sail in this unique time as a church. So until then, hope to see you tonight at our prayer meeting, Sundays at our services, Sunday afternoons for our Sunday sundowners, and in any other way that we can fellowship together. God bless you.